not what you think they are. No, 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 not what you think they are. They're not, they're not what They're not what you think they are. Think they are. They're not, not what They're not what you think they are. Remember the three laws of robots. They're not what you think they are. Hmm. Relevant. Some video games will entice an audience with a trailer that shows off its best bits in order to advertise what you can expect when you start playing. It doesn't happen too often, thankfully, but sometimes we find a game that is far more inviting in its advertisements than it actually is. G'day everyone, I am Lucas from Aussie Gamers Express, and today we are taking a look at The Fall Part 2, Unbound. Let's start off with a quick recap of the first game, aptly titled, The Fall. I am the ARID on board a Mark 7 combat suit. My pilot is injured. Are you aware of on-site medical facilities? You will serve my family and I. Understood? Good. The fall starts off with you watching what appears to be a man contained within an exoskeleton suit, falling from space and landing painfully on a hostile planet. We learn that the man, named Josephs, within the suit is badly injured and is in a coma. Thankfully for him, his suit contains an AI known as ARID. Arid has complete control over the motor functions of the suit and has a protocol installed to protect Josephs at all costs. The game essentially plays out like a point and click adventure game with a small dose of action and combat. The sequel to The Fall has come along and things have changed. You are no longer shackled to Joseph's and you have overcome your protocols and you are now only invested in saving yourself. Arid is being attacked by a virus which is being installed by the user, an unknown human from across the global network. It is your task to travel across interconnected networks using host bots to locate the user and put a stop to their virus infection. Save myself. Rule encounter. Perspective emerging. I will reclaim my body. The Fall Part 2 can present itself as an action adventure game with puzzle elements, but it's more accurately described as a narrative based point and click adventure with two very simple and underwhelming styles of action and combat. Shooting at flying black blobs of smoke when they turn blue will be the main staple of the action throughout the whole game. This portion of the combat is a step back from the original game and feels totally unnecessary. The controls are clunky and awkward and generally possess no real challenge for any seasoned gamer. The game even offers you a mode which dulls this right down so you can play along to enjoy the story and not bother with this kind of combat. The second type of combat comes through one of the three new playable characters known as the One. With your Kung Fu character situated in the center of the screen, you press one button for a right attack and another button for a left attack. As enemies flow in from both sides of the screen, you need to press the corresponding button to attack the closest enemy. This kind of combat has been seen before in other smaller scale arcade style games and really feels out of place in a narrative based game. The combat parts of the game really don't need to be there and appear to serve only to add something to the gameplay elements of an otherwise story strong game. Putting aside though the humdrum and lacklustre combat, the story throughout the fall is intriguing and serves as one of the only driving forces for a player to keep on playing. The characters that are introduced are interesting and your struggle for survival sees you attempting to heavily manipulate these characters into doing things for you to affect your survival. Unless you want me to? Negative. How can I help? As with most point and click adventure games, the gameplay that should be on show here is the puzzle development. Even though I guess puzzling through a game can be fun, it definitely doesn't make for a good trailer. 
most of the puzzling elements within the game require a player to search all areas thoroughly and pay attention to what you're told and what you see. Having a keen eye will definitely be the key to success here. The puzzles here, while they're not brain busting, they can pose some issues if you miss something that is crucial to your progression. There were a couple of times here that I resorted to the use of a walkthrough to find that I was simply one step away from the solution because I hadn't seen a particular interactive item within the darkened environments that the Fall Part 2 is made up of. The Fall Part 2 story is what kept me going. It's made up of strong sci-fi themes and for anyone who loves a good story that involves robotics, mainframes, cyber worlds and isolated manipulation would enjoy these themes. If you're going into the fall for a Metroid style action shooter then you're going to be bitterly disappointed. The main reason that I had to mention this is that the game's release trailers and footage likes to show it off to be something like this. While the story of the Fall Part 2 is the strongest element of the game, sadly it wasn't enough to engage me throughout the whole playthrough. With such limited gameplay elements, I believe that the Fall Part 2 would have benefited from a shorter game time, limiting the feeling of the game being dragged and stretched out for the sake of claiming that the campaign is three times longer than the original. Overall, the Fall Part 2 has a captivating story, albeit stretched out far too long. There are a bunch of reasonable and interesting puzzles that can evoke a strange emotional response based on what you're doing to other characters for your own gain. And there are also some pretty mundane action which I definitely couldn't describe as exciting. The Fall Part 2 is available on Steam, Xbox One and PlayStation 4 from the 13th of February 2018. Thank you very much for checking out this review and if you haven't already now would be a good time hit the subscribe button and give this video a like. Thank you very much for watching and as always I am Lucas and until next time I will see ya! You must have failed in your service. Inspecting your system for errors and intrusions may enable you to rectify your wrongdoing. That is good sense.